Greetings one and all two universes, in this show we will analyze the stats, weapons and abilities of two fighters to determine who will win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome so let's see who guessed right and wrong, and be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comments below. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two, I mean three fighters. That's right, this is a battle royale between the three protagonists of Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto V. Michael Townley, Franklin Clinton, and Trevor Phillips are all ready to fight. In this battle, these three fighters will have no knowledge or memories of each other's existence, that way their emotions and personal feelings won't get in the way of the battle. It should also be noted that the stats of these characters can be upgraded as the game progresses, but that requires player influence, such as how long you play as a character or what you do with them. To fix this, all the fighters will remain at their base stats from when you first unlock them. With all of those rules explained, let's get ready for the fight. This is Universes. Before we get into all the backstory stuff of the heist nine years ago, let's talk about the new kid on the block, Franklin Clinton. Now this guy's story is kinda sad, he never had a father, his mother was a coke addict, and pretty much everyone else in his family dropped like flies until he's stuck living with his aunt. All while committing petty crimes like robbing banks, carjacking, dope dealing, you know, all that stereotypical stuff. But honestly, can you expect anything good from someone whose last name is Clinton? Yeah, I didn't think so. Eventually, though, his life of crime caught up to him and he was arrested. When he was finally released, he decided to give up his criminal life and do something productive for a change. He got a job as a repo guy for a gangster named Simeon. Whenever a customer couldn't pay for a vehicle they rented, it was up to Franklin and his friend Lamar to go and get them, even if they had to be taken by force and gunshots. One repo job even led him to his mentor, Michael Townley, and this is where Franklin shines. He's an expert driver and works quite well as the getaway guy. He can chase down others with ease and he even has a special ability that allows him to slow down his own perception of time. This increases his driving skills so much that he can turn sharp corners while going at full speed, and he can dodge traffic and avoid crashes with ease. He often carries a knife and pistol, and while his aim was a bit rough at first, some advice from Michael and a couple trips to the shooting range really helped him out. If you plan to rob a bank, Franklin is definitely the one you want to get you, your friends, and your loot out of the cop's hands. Michael Townley is next up on our list, and while he didn't have it quite as bad as Franklin, he still had to deal with an alcoholic father who would later leave him. Now at first, he was headed in the right direction. He was a football star during his time in high school, and he was even featured in the paper quite a number of times. Unfortunately, his poor temper and mass amount of injuries forced him to quit and turn to a life of crime. On one of his criminal jobs, he met his soon-to-be partner, Trevor Phillips. The two worked quite well together and committed numerous heists. This went on until Michael met his wife Amanda and had two kids, Jimmy and Tracy. Not wanting to put his family in danger, Michael had to find a way to ditch his life of crime without Trevor finding out. To do this, he set up a staged heist with an FIB agent by the name of Dave Norton who would help him fake his own death and give him a new life and new name in Los Santos. He stayed there for nine years until he met Franklin and began an all new life of crime. Michael Townley was dead and it was Michael DeSanta's time to shine. Michael is an expert marksman and knows how to work his way around just about any kind of weapon. In fact, his own special ability completely revolves around this. Like Franklin, Michael can slow down his own perception of time. But instead of driving, Michael uses this for combat. He can get to safety quicker, focus on targets easier, and become an all-around better shot. He's a sneaky and deceptive individual who is an expert at strategy and knows how to lie and cheat himself out of just about any situation. Make sure you keep an eye on this one if he's in your crew. You may want to strap yourselves in for this cartoon character. Trevor Phillips is an absolute psychopath. And that's putting it nicely. We're back one more time with the daddy issues. 
Now, at an early age, Trevor already had a record of violent impulses, but they soon skyrocketed once his father abandoned him in a shopping mall, which Trevor responded to by burning the entire building down. Since then, he's supposedly done things like violate his hockey coach with a hockey stick, choke a clarinet player with their own instrument, and even kill tons of animals and drifters. But after being rejected by the Air Force for being completely insane despite his gifted piloting skills, Trevor became a drifter himself and engaged in petty crimes until he met Michael Townley. He and Michael were partners for years until he was fooled into thinking Michael died in a staged heist by the FIB. Trevor escaped somehow and went into hiding for nine years until he eventually heard about Michael on the news and completely lost his mind. More than he already had. During that time, though, Trevor's mental state completely corrupted as he gained an addiction to crystal meth and even started his own business where he sold meth and smuggled weapons. He'd even go as far as to steal weapons from the military like grenade launchers. And this is where Trevor's talent lies. He's a master of brute force who powers through anything that gets in his way. He can crush a human skull with his foot and his special ability makes him stronger and makes him durable enough to survive gunshots and explosions. But, all three of these guys have completed successful heists, shot their way out of danger, and have dodged trouble at every turn. But who is the ultimate criminal? Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Sorry. What was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient party you left is this little bit of brain? And the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much! What's going on guys, it's Franfa Franklin here, making a prediction video to Universe's GTA 5, or G just any GTA Royale, between Michael, Trevor, and Franklin. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with the feats. Now, in in all physicury, I would say Franklin is faster, Trevor is stronger, and Michael is more durable. But since I say this, it's because if because I say that um, Franklin is faster, it's because he was able. In fact, actually, all characters are able to run away from the police in the game. But that's up to the player. So you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and see who'd win if they use their special powers, and I'll show you the kill order if this did happen. Now Michael's gonna die first. Seeming that he may he may be the second oldest of all f all three of them, but he's not the brightest. He's a drunken f he's a drunken fool like Trevor, but he drinks more often. He doesn't pay attention to his kids. Hangs out, just robs banks without run. He, do he runs in first. So basic. So he would die first, going in straight first without learning. Without knowing about any of anyone else's pow powers and abilities, now Trevor would win this battle. Well, and here's why I believe that Trevor is far more stronger, a bit dur is durable, and is and can stay can stay on par with Franklin. Even though Michael's power and Franklin's power are neck and neck, are the same thing, and Michael knows how to use it a bit more. Franklin has got more experience with this, but when it came down to Michael dying first up to Franklin against Trevor, Franklin could pull up a good fight, but still, once he uses his special move, even he has a trouble moving. Still, and once and once he runs out of it, Trevor could easily just use the use his special powers and just come up and get and take it and take Franklin out, giving this win to Trevor. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this prediction. Anyways, GTF out. And the results are in. The winner is... Trevor Phillips. And anyone who plays GTA knows why. Michael comes in second and Franklin comes in last. What, what on earth? How come Franklin ass? came in last? Why would ass? you do that? You're so insensitive ass. to these oppressed it's people. Racist. I'm not racist! Calm down. Calm down. Let's work our way backwards and find out where the others failed that Trevor succeeded at. Franklin Clinton comes in third. While he has helped with heists and survived multiple shootouts before, he's still mostly the getaway driver. He's a skilled criminal, sure, but not in the area that would win him a fight. Not only that, but Franklin is also the newest member of his crew, meaning he has the least experience out of anyone else on the team. 
His special ability is also only for driving. Once he steps out of the car, it deactivates. Now, I'm aware that there are alternate endings where Franklin can kill both Michael and Trevor, but those are player-influenced, and even when he does kill them, he doesn't do it with his own strength or skill. Michael fell, and Trevor caught on fire and exploded. There's also the fact that Franklin has the weaker starter weapons of all three. Michael manages to claim second place with his higher experience, higher combat agility, and his expert marksmanship. He'd have no problem shooting down Franklin, even if he were driving by in a speeding car. However, while these skills are good enough for Michael to pick off the new kid, Trevor is a whole new monster. Like Michael and unlike Franklin, Trevor's special ability aids him in combat. Not only that, but his ability is the only one out of the three that can actually be considered superhuman. He can tank bullets, explosions, and one-shot just about anyone with his enhanced strength. While Michael may be able to handle Trevor mentally, there's no way he'd be able to handle him in a physical fistfight. Sure, Michael could try and try to shoot him down with his impressive aim, but what good is that when the ammo is not strong enough to get the job done? And since Trevor steals weapons from the military, he has much more firepower anyways. There's also the one last fact that during the nine years after the staged heist, Trevor has remained criminally active while Michael was lounging with his family. Greater power, durability, weapons, skills, and experience gives Trevor the win. So Franklin in third, Michael in second place, and in first place, the winner is Trevor Phillips. What about these two? Whoever wins, gets banned. <laughs> Get ready for the next battle.